To begin your simple t-shirt project, use a small orange potato to outline your fabric design. Now take your two bodice pieces, which now have the appearance of being covered in Cheeto dust, and pin them together. Now you may pin together the collar piece. Just make sure it's long enough to fit the neck of a cow in case you make mistakes. Hello, thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Yes, thank you. If this is your first time working with elastic thread, don't worry, it was mine too, and I had to pull jams out of my sewing machine several times. It quite literally caused me to go insane. <laughs> now that your sewing machine is functional again, you may sew together the two pieces of the bodice by following the Cheeto dust lines you created earlier. Now it will look like something that you wore the very first time you ever went to the gym. Once you have sewn the collar piece that is long enough to fit Shrek, you may turn it right side out. Next, you may sew the trim on the sleeves. After you have finished sewing the sleeves, you can carefully trim the excess fabric off. After you finish the trimming, you know you've done it correctly if it looks like an old man's pair of underwear. <coughs> if you have watched any of my previous sewing videos, you will know that I am totally ignorant when it comes to creating a waistband for tops. So to avoid yet another failure on a waistband, I decided to fold up the ends of the bodice and sew it together. Hey. Thank you. Once the waistband is completely sewn, you may now place the bodice on the mannequin for your sleeve placement. Once you have placed the sleeves inside out, you may sew them. After you have sewn the sleeves onto the bodice, you may now spend an absurd amount of time attaching the collar with your pins. Once the collar is attached, you are now completed with the sewing portion of your project. You know you've done it correctly if it looks like something you could buy at Goodwill for one dollar. And I'm back. I know it's been like two or three months since I've uploaded anything to YouTube, but to be honest, life has just been super busy and different since quarantine decided to continue. For starters, my schedule at work changed for the better, so that was awesome. We got our engagement photos back, so that was really fun getting to see how great they turned out. We celebrated Zeus's very first birthday in July, which was super adorable. We went on a quick camping trip to Holiday World where we discovered that Zeus absolutely loves golf carts. It was definitely his favorite part of the trip. It's just too bad we don't own one. And I've taken care of most of our wedding planning, including crafting these for my four bridesmaids. Natalie and I will have real bouquets, but I decided to do something different for the adult bridesmaids. And I had my hair color dark brown, which I actually kind of love it. So I'll probably keep it this way for a while. But anyway, here are some random videos I took over this past summer.